Good day. Welcome to the Bermuda Business Development Agency, or the BDA's third Bermuda Angle webinar entitled Bermuda's Economic Investment Certificate. My name is Kyle Rogers, and I am the Business Research and Intelligence Manager at the BDA. It is my pleasure to introduce today's speakers, the Minister of Labor, the Honorable Jason Hayward, JPMP, Client Immigration Manager at Conyers, Belinda Wright, and the Director of Communications, NPR, at the BDA, Stuart Roberts. The Honorable Jason Hayward was selected as junior minister to the Bermuda government Senate in July, 2017, and was appointed Minister of Labor in June, 2020. Before his appointment, he served as the president of the Bermuda Public Services Union, president of the Bermuda Trade Union Congress, chairman of the National Training Board, and director and treasurer of the Bermuda Credit Union. Minister Hayward chaired the working group which produced Bermuda's first national workforce development plan. Additionally, he served on the bipartisan Joint Select Committee tasked with exploring the option of establishing a living wage for Bermuda. Belinda Wright is the Client Immigration Manager at Conyers. She joined Conyers in 2008 and advises on immigration law, nationality law, and the Constitution of Bermuda. A career immigration specialist with 40 years experience, Belinda worked in the civil service, commencing at the cabinet office, followed by a long tenure in the Bermuda Department of Immigration. Stuart Roberts joined the BDA in May 2021 as Director of Communications and PR. Stuart produces internal and external communications on behalf of the BDA, which includes written content for strategic jurisdictional advocacy initiatives. Stuart has worked in Bermuda for over 17 years, the last 10 of which have been with Bermuda's Integrated Financial Services Regulator, the Bermuda Monetary Authority where his most recent role was Assistant Director of Communications. Welcome all. We're excited to have you with us today. Stuart, over to you. Thank you, Kyle, and good day, everyone. Uh, the purpose of the BDA is to promote and protect, in collaboration with government and the private sector, sustainable and equitable economic growth and prosperity in Bermuda. As such, the BDA is incredibly excited about the Economic Investment Certificate, or EIC. We are excited about the EIC's incredible early success story, as well as its superb potential for long-term economic growth. The purpose of today's Bermuda Angle webinar is to highlight these potential benefits and increase awareness of the EIC, particularly among local stakeholders. So with that being said, Minister Hayward, I will send this first question over to you, please. What is the EIC and how did it come about? So the Economic Investment Certificate commenced on March 1st, 2021. The Economic Investment Certificate is actually allows one to um, reside in Bermuda for a five-year period based off of minimum investment of $2.5 million. The Economic Investment Certificate is then a bridge to the residential certificate, which allows an individual to reside in Bermuda indefinitely. And so this is a replacement from our old residential certificate policy, which didn't require an upfront investment. Great. Um, and Minister, second question, please. What are the eligibility requirements to receive the EIC? So the main eligibility requirement is that one invest um, in the Bermuda economy. One can either purchase real estate that can be residential or commercial. One can donate to a charity. One can invest in a new business or existing business within our economy. And then there are other ways in which individuals can invest that can be discussed um, with the minister. And if I believe that it has some sort of social economic benefit um, to the people of Bermuda, certainly um, that will be looked at as a favorable uh, investment. Excellent. Uh, thank you, minister. And what have the results of the EIC been like so far, please? Certainly, I'm encouraged by the results that we've had thus far. Um, so far, we've granted eight um, certificates, and there are also dependents attached to the certificates. So we're looking at a population of about 20 um, individuals that have um, received benefits underneath the Economic Investment Certificate Program. The amount invested in the economy totals $39.5 million at this particular point. We know 14.3 of that 14.3 million dollars of that, that amount have been invested in the economy um, in this year. I'm encouraged to learn that we have um, a 
about $200 million in investment in the pipeline with potential investors that, that are having conversations with um, the BDA. And so certainly from the government's lens, um, this is very positive progress. Thank you. Uh, Belinda, you've been very patiently and quietly sitting there. So I would now like to, to ask you some questions if you don't mind, please. Uh, speaking from a private sector perspective, can you please discuss what your experience with EIC has been like so far? First of all, I'll start, thank you, Stuart, with, um, with Conyers and who we are. Um, Conyers represents clients in a number of industries and practices, and one of which is clients seeking to relocate to Bermuda. So we have had a long standing reputation for providing expert advice to clients. And based on the depth of our knowledge and experience, it not only allows us to provide technical advice, but also to be creative and be sensitive to their specific needs and working with them to achieve the best result. Our immigration team is complemented by experienced attorneys who can also assist in other areas of expertise. For example, property acquisition, which is one of the qualifiers to obtain the EIC. Uh, we've had a number of inquiries into the eligibility process and requirements to apply for the EIC. So it's certainly an exciting venture for us, for us to see that with inquiries on behalf of senior executives of companies already existing in Bermuda, other business owners wanting to make a further investment into their existing Bermuda business, increasing its overall value and increasing their eligibility for concrete long-term residents. So we also have a number of peers from overseas clients looking to relocate to Bermuda. Um, so it's a nice, um, it's a great opportunity um, to invest and to assist in Bermuda's growth. Thank you, Belinda. And, and you already mentioned that you're starting to see some interest. So I'd like to, to drill down a little bit there, please. So, so what has interest been like and, and how much potential do you think the EIC has in terms of potential uh, possible applicants in Bermuda? Uh, we've actually um, had two successful applications um, that have come through for the EIC. Um, and again, that's based on their purchase of property. So the value to Bermuda is phenomenal in what has already started. Although, as the minister stated, it is a 2.5 million investment. However, we've seen the investment in that a lot higher than what um, the, the minimum requirement is. Exactly. Great. Uh, and and. Minister, um, why is this an important initiative for Bermuda and what are the potential economic benefits, please? So the economic investment certificate is a key feature of Bermuda's economic recovery plan. And the economic recovery plan aims to improve um, economic growth and development in the country. But it's just not about the initial investment, it's the induced and indirect impact of those persons continuous continue to reside and live in Bermuda. And so um, once we have persons who choose to make Bermuda their domicile of choice, certainly they look at other ways as to how they can invest in other areas within the economy. Um, those persons um, pay taxes in our economy. Um, they purchase goods and services from local vendors. And so it's a huge um, impact that can be ultimately had by having a number of, um, you know, investors move to the island and, and take up occupancy. Fantastic. And Belinda, do you have anything to add about the potential economic benefits as you see it, please? Oh, definitely. Um, it opens up a wide range of benefits, not only to the economic, the um, EIC holder, but to Bermuda as a whole. Um, as the minister stated, they are paying taxes. They're employing vendors, they're employing staff to assist on their property, um, enhancing their overall contribution to Bermuda. Um, in addition to that, they're the complete living expenses, um, the way that you're actually living here, you're, you're contributing to Belco, to Telco, to all of the other industries. So overall, Bermuda is benefiting um, economically based on their investment. Great. And, um... Thank you, Belinda. It has already been mentioned that the EIC seeks to attract large scale investment to the island to stimulate local economic activity, create jobs for Bermudians and encourage long term economic commitments that will benefit the whole of Bermuda society. This is why the BDA is encouraging the entire local community to get behind this important initiative. Local stakeholders who want to learn more should visit the BDA website 
bda.bm slash economic investment certificate, where you will find the EIC application form, EIC FAQs, frequently asked questions, and a link to the EIC policy. To ease the process for prospective EIC applicants, the BDA offers a dedicated and personalized business concierge service, which acts as a single point of contact. Our main EIC contact at the BDA is Kyle Rogers, the BDA's business research and intelligence manager who introduced us all today. Interested parties can schedule a confidential conversation with Kyle to learn more about the certificate itself and the wider opportunities Bermuda provides. Bermuda has long been an exceptional destination in which to live, work, and play. And we look forward to building relationships based on a real understanding of individual and family needs and demonstrating how Bermuda can meet and exceed those needs, not just now, but also for the future. So uh, that should hopefully paint a good picture of the EIC, what it is, the economic benefits, and where you will be able to find more information about the EIC. So now we'll be moving across to the section of this uh, webinar that covers questions that may have been sent across from our audience members, yourselves. So I see that we have a couple of questions here already. So I will send this out to, to the panel. Um, what is the permission to reside on an annual basis? And so um, individuals can obtain permission um, to reside on an annual basis, even mm -hmm. though it is titled permission to reside on an annual basis, persons can be granted permission to reside to up to a five year period. The main um, qualifier would, that, would be that a person can demonstrate that they have the ability to um, maintain themselves on island financially without the ability to work. And so if one wants to reside on an annual basis, they do not get permission to seek employment and work in Bermuda. That is um, somewhat different from the work from Bermuda policy that we have, which allows persons to um, reside in Bermuda and uh, actually work or study um, from our jurisdiction. Great. Um, Belinda, do you have anything to add to that? Yes, what I will add to that, um, when someone, like you said, gets the annual permission to reside, yes, it is valid for up to five years. Um, those persons who reside here can also continue to maintain their own employment provided it's outside of Bermuda. So though they're not allowed to work in Bermuda, we're having that permission granted, they can still continue to work for their company outside of Bermuda. So any other jurisdiction, they can still continue. There may be one element because they're working wholly and solely from Bermuda that there may be tax obligations. However, they can still continue their employment whilst actually residing and enjoying Bermuda. And Stuart, if I may add, um, this particular um, permission is typically granted to people who are globally retired. In addition, this is also attractive to people that have um, hotel and tourist accommodations. Great. And Minister, if I may, you mentioned the Work for Bermuda initiative. Can you give us a little flavor of what that is and, and um, maybe a bit more about it? So earlier this year, um, we started the initiative to allow persons to um, work remotely from um, Bermuda as a response to a decline in tourism. Um, because of the impact of the pandemic. And um, we've seen over a thousand individuals apply for application. Over 600 individuals actually um, have resided in Bermuda. When we look at the economic impact of those persons um, residing in Bermuda for that period of time, um, that's over 23.3 million dollars. And so um, we're very much pleased with that. We've seen a number of Work From Bermuda recipients also apply um, for an additional year. So it's not limited to the one year period. And we've also seen a Work From Bermuda recipient um, apply for the Economic Investment Certificate, which is also great. And I, so I believe that persons um, who have chosen to reside in Bermuda see that it is a safe jurisdiction, um, the people are friendly, the climate is very moderate, 
and it's a sophisticated jurisdiction um, that they would like to continue to live and reside in. Excellent. Belinda, anything to add? Well, we certainly have also had clients. It's a very safe environment, um, easy access to gateway cities. Travel is extremely easy. Um, the one flight either to New York, Miami, or London, I'm still making it very attractive. So we are getting a lot of diverse type of um, inquiries uh, to satisfy their needs and is meeting them all. So it's quite exciting that um, no matter what um, the, the product is that Bermuda is offering, we are having a number of clients seeking to relocate to Bermuda. And Belinda, you mentioned that you have already, and that your firm had submitted two applications. What was the application process like? Actually, it's a very seamless process. Um, it's gathering their documentation. Um, and they, the two that we had were successful um, came out of property purchase. One in particular was, I think, about $6 million. Um, so it's quite, that's why when I said earlier, um, yes, they, are, they may invest, yes, the minimum 2.5, but what the benefit is a lot greater. Um, and the process was quite seamless. The application submission working with um, Kyle was excellent, um, providing whatever details were required. And the only delay would have been a delay in getting the additional documents from the client. Um, but other than that, quite smooth, quite seamless and impressive. Thank you very much. Fantastic. And the last question for you both, um, what potential economic impact does EIC have for Bermuda's real and so um, the majority of the investment thus far has been in real estate. And so um, realtors have a, a, a big um, role to play in the success of this particular policy, which is connecting um, potential um, recipients with properties. But when I look at this from economy-wide, I think that there are still opportunities to grow in other areas like new business development. And if we can get um, more individuals interested in new business development, that ultimately creates jobs um, and will benefit our economy. Um, the pandemic has also um, led to some economic hardship within our community. And so there is a growing need for um, charities um, to respond to individuals' needs. And so if recipients want, um, they can also donate to our local charities. And I'm sure that has a huge uh, benefit for um, the recipients of the goods and services that are provided by our charities. And so, yes, the realtors um, have, a, have a significant role to play, but outside of real estate, um, the opportunity is vast. Thank you. Well, well, thank you so much. And on behalf of the BDA, I wish to thank our esteemed panelists, the Minister of Labor, the Honorable Jason Hayward, uh, JPMP and Belinda Wright. Thank you to the audience and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.